coffee and cake and fellowship, and uh, and then we usually end up across the street at the local restaurant for some some good grub and and uh, craft beers. Well, this was my fourth Sunday assembly, if I didn't tell you that before. Uh, and, and I'm kind of one of those people that I say, well, you know what? Uh, sounds like great fun if you're into that kind of thing, but it's not my kind of thing. Uh, but this was easily the best Sunday assembly I went to. Oh, well, and, thank you. Uh, no, thank you. I, I actually quite enjoyed it. The The first one I went to was funny because it was uh, Sanderson and Pippa. Mm-hmm. And they were giving a, you know, kind of a little Sunday assembly mini Sunday assembly at the American Humanist Association a couple of years in Philadelphia, a couple of years ago in Philadelphia. And it felt kind of forced because no one knew what was going on. Uh, so, I, you know, it was an introduction to it. And I was like, man, I've been to Chicago at least twice. And, you know, it was a very nice thing. Uh, but of course, it's different when you have 100, 150, 200 people instead of 45 or 50 Mm-hmm. The music. Yeah, there's was, a certain critical mass that happens when you get yeah you know that many people in the room, and and you know the music was great. Uh, the, the only song that I I wasn't enamored with, although I I loved the song, was the Bowie song. <laughs> yeah, in our weekly planning meeting of the organizing committee on Monday night, the the following night, as we were deconstructing and and self critiquing, it was pretty unanimous that you'll never hear that one in our venue again. And gosh, what, what, which one was it? Um, changes. changes. Yeah, uh, I, I adore the song. I had no idea how difficult that was to sing. Yeah, and uh, the lead musician musician did a great job with it, but the crowd just, you know, it. They were clearly lost. They were clearly lost. It was a. It had some tempo changes, or where you kind of had to kind of smush words in. And didn't really flow. I mean, it sounds like it flows when Bowie does it. I, I don't notice it, but when you aren't really up to speed with it, it was a challenge. And then, of course, we had uh, uh, Journey, which is an instant crowd pleaser uh, for anybody. Mm-hmm. And everybody knows the songs. And, and, you know, it's one of those things that every week it's different songs. And uh, for the listeners, if you've never been to a Sunday assembly, it's uh, surprisingly contemporaneous. Uh, the music is, you know, stuff that I might play at a wedding. Anything from uh, the fifties and sixties up until today. Is that sound right? Yep, that's pretty much it. And and trying to stick with songs that they really know. Uh, the songs previous... that people know, th- songs that are easy to pick up on if you by chance you don't know them. Right. Songs that are um, uplifting, fun. And, yeah, and that's a good, that's a kind good of tempo. The... You don't want any downers. I mean, that's and and they have yeah, life. Life's got enough of that. Yeah, and and you had a, a moment where a gentleman came up, and I don't know that I want to say his name because we're not asking him if we can, but he came oh, up. Matt, and, no, he'd be fine with it. Okay, uh, <laughs> Matt, where we to, he told his story about how he kind of stumbled into Sunday Assembly one time and, and how he got involved. Can, can you give me a little recap of that? Because I thought that was so beautiful. Sure. Well, there's a portion that, of the program that we do each month called the assembler doing their best. And, and this is where we have a community member come up for three to five minutes and, and just tell a personal story about some way that they're making a difference in the world or some way that they're dealing with a personal challenge or, or in some way that they're trying their best. And, and so Matt, who's relatively new to our community, uh, told the story of how he came to Los Angeles, uh, was kind of fleeing some things in his life across the country, and he ran into some bumps and and bruises along the way, and um, a few months ago brought himself into Sunday Assembly and has just really thrown himself into it. Uh, I mean, he's volunteered at a lot of our service events. Uh, He pitches in uh, when we're needing help to get set up and has just really sort of ingratiated himself into the entire community. And, in fact, we invited him to our organizers' meeting on Monday night because I think we're going to turn him into a board member. Yeah, it, it, his story was just uh, so touching. And it's one of those things that, you know, I, I've done this with my little meetup group where people come in and are like, wow, I, I can meet some people and talk to them. And this was the same thing on, on a grand scale. And I have to admit, you know, 
a little bit of me, I won't admit to much, but a little bit of me did like going to, uh, you know, a, a frequent place, a regular place where you had a hundred extra friends. And of course, the beautiful thing, if, if someone, you know, ends up out of a job, maybe someone can help. Uh, maybe uh, with someone has a baby, you can bring over, uh, you know, a, a casserole. You know, it's a big community. It's just like small towns or, or mid-sized churches where everybody just kind of pitches in to help each other. And, and uh, you know, I, I think that serves a very important role. Yeah, we're really striving to sort of create all the, the social good that the church institutions have had a monopoly on for so many hundreds of years and just remove all the other stuff that, that just doesn't serve. I like it. And if you don't mind, uh, can you stay a little longer? We're going to do a little break. Sure. Uh, so hang on. We'll do a commercial break, and we'll come back, and we'll talk maybe about what is coming up for future events in case the listeners want to go check it out. Hang Absolutely. On. This is Phil Ferguson with Polaris Financial Planning, the home of science-based investing. I see people owning really bad investments all of the time. Many advisors are paid a commission by a big company to sell you something you may not need. It's kind of like church. They create fear, then they tell you what you want to hear, and then they take your money. What you want is an advisor that is paid only by you. That is a fee-only fiduciary advisor. Remember, people work for who they are paid by. You can contact me, Phil, at PolarisFinancialPlanning.com or listen to the cleverly titled The Phil Ferguson Show. Each show, we have an interesting investing skeptically topic and an interview with someone fighting to end religion. Polaris also gives 10% of gross revenue to support the growing secular movement. You're not just getting better investments, you're helping to change the world. All right, everybody, welcome back. This is Phil Ferguson, and you are still listening to The Phil Ferguson Show. I have with me Ian Dodd. He is the founder of Sunday Assembly Los Angeles branch, and up until recently was one of the co-directors. And now I guess you're just on the board now, Ian, is that? Yeah, I'm, I'm still involved in the board. I'm still on the organizing team. Um, I have chosen to step back from the day-to-day -day leadership here in L.A. because I've got some other projects and, and um, things I want to do in my own secular activism coming up here in the future. Well, and, and that's the beautiful thing of it. It's it's not the Ian Assembly, right? It, it's the, right. It's the Sunday Assembly, and everybody can be involved. Yeah, from the very beginning when we sort of first sat down for brunch in my living room a couple of years ago and started kicking around the idea of doing this thing, the idea was always to create an organization that was where none of us were irreplaceable. You know, we, we wanted it to be where we were all sort of plug and play, and at a at, at a certain point in time when it got to the point where we felt like one of us or more of us needed to back out for personal reasons, professional reasons or, or whatever, um, that, that, that would, that would keep, you know, that that was easily handled and that the organization would keep functioning without any one particular person. Now, I don't know if you happen to have the website in front of you or if you have memorized, but, uh, what's coming up in the future months? Um, in terms of here in Los Angeles? Yes, please. Oh gosh, we've got um, we've got speakers booked out several months in a r in the in the future. We've got um, an experimental psychologist coming in June to talk about how humans are resilient and react to adverse situations. We've got um, the host of Everyday Einstein podcast coming out, um, and we'll also be seeing her in Washington D.C. at the Reason Rally. I'll tell you about that in just a moment. We've got. Um, We've got some folks working on electric cars, and um, we've got a transgender comic coming out uh, sometime in the next few months. So all kinds of, of different things to, um, to, to reach our audience in terms of our speakers. Um, in between, because we only meet once a month, um, we fill our calendar with a variety of service events and social events. So... You know, we get together with the Greater West Hollywood Food Coalition to distribute meals to the homeless. We have a, a homegrown project called Sunday Assembly Line, where we put together personal care kits that we distribute to the homeless in Los Angeles. Um, all kinds of things like that. Our, our social calendar is full with game nights and karaoke nights and a, a deep listening and discussion group that my wife runs. 
And um, so there's there's all no kinds of ways that people can break out into the smaller groups versus the you know 150 200 people in a big room to get to really know each other much more intimately. Well, I tell you, it, it uh, unlike the traffic, it made me wish I lived in the area. <laughs> uh, well, for people who haven't experienced a Sunday assembly but might be curious about it, um, if uh, they're going to be attending the Reason Rally in Washington on uh, June 4th and the weekend of, of Sunday, June 5th, there's an opportunity there. Um, Sunday Assembly America, which is the larger organization that, that sort of networks all of the assemblies here in the United States, um, we've signed on as a minor sponsor of the Reason Rally. And uh, there's a mini convention on Sunday, June 5th, and we are actually putting on a Sunday assembly as the opening of that uh, mini convention. And it's curious and ironic, I guess, quint- coincidental, quinky dink, that uh, the bulk of the musical performers are going to be from Los Angeles and uh, where I was just a few months ago, Nashville, Tennessee. Yeah, well, Nashville, Sunday Assembly Nashville is actually one of the more active assemblies in the country, and uh, they've got a rockin' band there. Uh, They actually played at our annual conference, which was in May of last year in Atlanta, Georgia. They came down from uh, from Nashville and just put on a hell of a show. So uh, they're getting the band back together, and they're taking it on the road to Washington. (laughs) And so that's going to be Sunday the 5th? Yes. And where will that be? That is at the, um, I want to say the Capitol Hotel. Uh, it escapes me right off the top of my head. Yeah, but, there's, uh, a, there's a cluster of hotels by the Hyatt on Capitol Hill, which might be. Right. Good. And so uh, if you go to reasonrally.org um, and you look at the schedule, you'll find a, a listing for the mini convention on Sunday, June 5th. And that'll have the specific hotel and address where that's happening. Well, that's, it's interesting because the very last episode of the show here, we talked about the Reason Rally at great length, and of course this came up, but uh, that's fantastic. So you're going to have music, you're going to have song, Do you, are you guys going to have your own speaker, or, or is that going to... Well, actually, uh, the speaker that is also going to be visiting Los Angeles later in the summer, um, Sabrina, and I'm going to get her last name pronounced wrong, Steerbelt, I think, is the way she pronounces it, but she is a physicist and astronomer and she is the host of her own podcast called everyday einstein and uh, she's going to be the guest speaker doing a talk about uh, science education science literacy and uh, maintaining the sense of wonder yeah i've just found this on the uh the website i'm assuming you're in the same place as the mini convention at proper yes and that is in the washington court hotel uh, 525 New Jersey Avenue Northwest in Washington, D.C. So uh, did you, they give you a time that when you're going to start? We're, we're actually the opening act of the mini convention. Ah, here it is, 10, 10 a.m. So It's for, you know, for non-church-going people who don't like to be at at, uh, at services at 8 a.m. Yeah, it's, it's one of those things. Um, I don't know if I'm going to make it, Ian. Well, because there's going to be lots of lots of fun there the <laughs> night before, I'm sure. Well, not only is there going to be a lot of fun, but I am the DJ for the party at Crystal City, and that goes till 2 a.m. So if that goes well, and I hope it does, uh, there's a possibility that I won't wind down and be able to get to sleep until 3, and like I said, that's at Crystal City uh, on the other side of the Potomac, so it's, it's a little bit of a distance, and... Uh, Getting up at uh, 6 or 7 after going to bed at 3 is probably not likely for me. <laughs> well, well, we'll give you a special dispensation then. Yeah, yeah, and, and I'm looking here. It, they have that, and then they have a celebrity panel. I don't know who the celebrities are. And then lunch, so I'll probably pop in right after lunch just to see everybody for a couple of hours. But it looks like a great uh, day after, of course, started with Sunday Assembly. So if you've never been to a Sunday Assembly... I think this is the time to go. But if someone is in or around L.A., where can they find you? Uh, The easiest way to find us online is at our main website, which is sundayassemblyla.org. Or you could just do a quick search for us either on Meetup or on Facebook. You'll find us in all those different places. If you're located anywhere other than Los Angeles, if you're one of the other 36 cities in the United States and 70-plus cities around uh, Europe and North America and Australia, 
sundayassembly.com is a central website and on that you'll find a, a list and a link to uh, any assembly in your area.